reading from the Gospel of Luke. Just then a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, you have given the right answer. Do this and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of the robbers who stripped him, beat him, and went away leaving him half dead. Now by chance, a priest was going down that road and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise, a Levite, and when he came to the place and saw him, he passed on the other side. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him, and when I come back, I will pay you whatever more you spend. Which of these three, do you think, was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? He said, the one who showed him mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. At the beginning of this passage, we hear the Shema, which is, uh, a very well-known and well-practiced prayer in the Jewish tradition. Love your Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. And then added on is love your neighbor as yourself. These are not just talking about parts of ourselves. It's talking about our whole selves. Jesus is telling his hearers that in to, to inherit eternal life is to love God and love our neighbors with all that we are, not just in belief or in heart, but in mind and body and spirit and strength. That is what it means to walk this life. Now we've heard this parable of the Good Samaritan so many times. In fact, it's almost in our repeated hearing that it loses its effect. For Jesus' hearers, they would have expected to hear themselves as the hero of the story. And instead, almost they hear their enemy being elevated. They would have expected the priest and Levite to pass by, but then a really good lay Jew person to be the hero and that is not what happened. We know that this person, this Samaritan, was the one who was moved to show the mercy and love of God to this unknown person. He used everything that he had. He used himself, his body, his resources, his finances to ensure that when he left this man, that he was okay. That is what Jesus is calling us to do. Now, sometimes we might be the injured person on the side of the street that needs someone to care for us, that needs someone to offer of themselves to help heal us. Sometimes that's more of a challenge than it is to give of ourselves. Either way, Jesus is calling this to be part of our lives. Are we giving of our heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength? Do we give of all that we are created to be in our love to God and our neighbor? If we do these things, we will inherit eternal life. Amen.